I'm Elias Kimayo from Sangweri Indigenous Community and uh, here we are is our ancestral land. Yeah, I can say I've been activist since I was a young child because I saw my father when he was arrested when I was very young at around the age of eight years old. So KFS by then it was called the Forest Department came here in the, inside the forest and uh, they burned our house. Uh, we had two houses, they burned one and uh, they left the smaller one with me and my mother and uh, they, they took my father away. I came and learned uh, later on that they took him to Tambaj prison for 28 days. And then it was uh, from that time is when I started asking was myself as to why, who are these people, they are talking with guns and they were so intimidating because I, I knew my father was the only powerful man in the forest. I didn't know there was other people who were powerful than him. I think I started uh, my activism as a young person and uh, when I learned now the, the issues surrounding land tenure rights, out, land depossession of our community, cassettement of our land. That is now the time I came up strongly and more so recently after when come and said no more to the for no more sanguine living inside Temple with Forest. That is the time now I came up powerfully and trying to look for solutions and uh, how I could look for solutions was to get information from uh, books uh, and from also other activists who are, who are way ahead of us to be like a community channel. So the only powerful thing that can reach many people was a camera. And I was introduced to that, to that camera by a filmmaker who came in 2014 around here to film. And it was fascinating that it reaches m more people faster and accurate information so that to see the all suffering that the Gomia are going through. So that is how I started uh, being an activist and uh, now looking for ways on how to tell out the uh, issues through camera uh, so that for other people to understand and also like to an intervention intervention of what we are going through, yes. So I wanted I want my children to inherit a thicker forest, a more conserved forest with flowing rivers like this, very nice wind, very tall trees, uh, short trees. If you remove us or if you clear their forests, it is like exposing a fish from the river. So when legs dry up, then the fish dies. So when forest gets distracted, then the lives of somewhere ends. So I wanted to inherit a peaceful environment, full of ecosystem the way it got created, yes. Our culture has been eroded badly. Why? Because of forceful evictions. When the forest is being uh, distracted, our culture is eroding. So that is, and also language, you know, that is the worst thing to happen to a human living being. We don't want the, we don't want it to be re, to be read in books that there were community who lived in forests. For people to wonder how were, were people living inside the forest, you know, such a question. So it will, it's really traumatizing for people to come and read that, you know, we had people called the somewhere, they used to live in forests. So we need people to learn us as a living people, as a living community. So we don't want the people to learn that cultures. We want the people to, 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 read, uh, to read and see and feel life cultures. That is what we want as a community.